Hi guys, welcome to Silver Lake Honey Channel and our part two of our queen, queen rearing series. Uh, we're gonna check check the the cups that we put yesterday, and we're gonna do grafting. We selected a hive that's um, overwintered this harsh winter here in Iowa. She's got nice brood pattern, uh, and she's calm, not aggressive hive. Uh, also, uh, she's proven queen. She made a lot of honey last year, and I always uh, keep track and records of the good queens. We selected a frame from that hive, and we're gonna graft. As you can see, the bees are using the upper entrance in the cloak board, and also we have another hive that I used a double screen, double screen board with the queen excluder on top instead of cloak board. And they figured out their new entrance and uh, they, they're polishing these cups. For grafting, I like to use, uh, there are many grafting tools, like a German grafting tool. You can, like some people, they made their own, but I really like using uh, this Chinese grafting tool because it's uh, really flexible and because I do uh, wet grafting, I don't graft dry larva. I also pick up the jelly, so I go underneath the, the larva and pick up jelly and larva together and deposit into cup. I don't know, I've tried the other, using other grafting tools, but I kind of like this one. If you graft away from, the, from your apiary, you, you need to cover your uh, grafts with a damp cloth and then carry it you know kind of moist so because they dry up pretty quickly but uh, in this case we're right here so we're gonna graft and just put it right away into our hives Took a lot of syrup here. Okay, so Hopefully they polished inside these cells. And they're ready to accept, you can see this. Most of the bees are ready to accept larvae. Yeah, I, I like to graft uh, inside the truck because you can have air condition and you have you can control the temperature and it's closed closed so bees can get to it and this really uh, handy tray uh, you can buy like on Amazon or eBay and then you put it on the wheel and like to use it as a rest and for my bars so uh, I like uh, the headlamp to shine inside the cell because I can see a lot better. And uh, I don't know how well we'll be able to see, but you can see right here they're old larva. And then when you go up, it's younger and younger. And this is the one that we want. We want the uh, 12 to 24 hour larva, but uh, preferably 12. I have the thing to block the queen and have the exact correct larva when I do, but this is just a quick um, 
uh, way of showing that uh, for a small scale uh, queen rearing that you don't need uh, to do anything just uh, take a frame of fresh eggs and larvae and you'll be able to pick the right right larva the correct larva it doesn't look like a C it, it's more like a comma so you, you have to go underneath the eggs here and underneath eggs is the youngest larva and the one that looks like uh, comma so the smallest you get that looks like comma between comma and letter C the the better I'm glad I have good vision I don't need any glasses or anything but people usually use glasses and you want to take the larva with a lot of royal jelly floating I don't know if you're able to see it, but here's one. Kind of put it inside and then slide the tool off. Okay, so we have grafted 30 cells without too much talking. Let's put them back in the middle. Okay, so we're gonna come back in a couple of days and check how well did we do. Usually the first grafts are iffy, you know, we still have colder weather, that's why we have internal feeders and later uh, throughout the season we're gonna switch to uh, the, the top feeders you know when we have a little bit nicer weather at night. Our grafting is done, we'll check them in two days. See you guys.